Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Grant Hardy. But like when it's a really like evenly matched team, right? Sometimes it can get it can get pretty fast paced. And like I feel like the adrenaline rush, right? And I and I like it makes me want to try things I wouldn't normally do. Dale McLeod has been playing power chair soccer for 20 years. He describes his favorite part of being on the team. The friends that I made mostly and and like I'll, I've been on many trips over the years. And I've met many people from all over the world. Although similar to mainstream soccer, the sport, which is played four against four in a gym, varies in a few ways. The soccer ball is about two to three times larger, and all the players use power chairs equipped with special foot guards to pass, shoot, and dribble the ball around the pitch. According to Dale, chairs specific to the sport have made the games even more exciting. The, the, the chairs are a lot, a lot lower to the ground, and they're wider, and yeah, the, the center of balance is, is like directly between the drive wheels, so you can spin a lot faster, and you can kick the ball harder. Dell's team is quite diverse. Even kids like nine-year-old Nima are making their mark. Nima's mom, Natalia Manigoda, also a board member, describes the changes she's seen in her son since he began playing. He's very careful regarding letting him, his guard down, and he's sort of a type of a, a person who likes to observe at first. He wanted to learn more, and it's, uh, it's been really uh, rewarding for us, especially for him. He got more confident, he's very joyful, and uh, looking forward to playing and doing something that um, it's very enjoyable. Ball going this way. Way. Coach Liana Young has been coaching the Vancouver team for over 10 years. I love coaching. I like seeing how the players interact with each other, having fun, getting their time on the floor, um, working with each other. <laughs> Something that they normally don't get an opportunity to do. This is one of those things where people tell them that they can't do sports and I'm like, no, they can't do sports and it's a great opportunity for them to get that experience that all other people can have. Dale's mom, Margaret McLeod, is the manager of the local, provincial, and national power chair soccer teams. She describes the impact of power chair soccer. I see um, all the friendships that the players have made and the bonding that they've had. And not only the players benefit from all of this, the families do as well, because um, the families, um, are amongst each other and in a similar situation and we share lots of stories and so I find that the sport is uh, not just a sport it's a way of life and it has meant so much to us. Due to the nature of the equipment and the players abilities challenges like transportation exist in getting everyone together but that's not the only one is for people with severe disabilities who have serious health issues. And unfortunately, we've lost a lot of players uh, due to their condition. And we struggle with, with their health deteriorating and so they can no longer play. These players have more meaningful for them to continue on and continue playing in memory of the players that have gone before them. For Dale, the team's legacy inspires him to keep playing. I've had lots of lots of friends with with conditions similar to mine, right? That have uh, passed away over the years. But um, but yeah, I always like to think of, think of them 